Has it ever happened to you that you had to juggle between multiple projects, tasks and deadlines at the same time? Imagine you miss an important deadline and all of your project planning is under the risk of going to pieces. How does it feel? Not good, right? Within 10 minutes, I will teach you how to take control of any project by using a Gantt chart. It's the most popular and quite convenient tool. After watching this video, you will learn what a Gantt chart is, how to use it in G-Sheets, and what other Gantt chart software tools are out there at your disposal. You will also realize why this tool is so widely used among various teams. While there will be a brief Gantt chart history background to give you an idea, we will mostly practice on a real example. I will guide you through a case study using a practical template. You will be able to take this template for a spin right away. Stay with me till the end to become proficient in using a Gantt chart for your next project. A Gantt chart is a visual representation of all the tasks related to a project scheduled over time. The vertical axis of a Gantt chart shows the tasks that need to be completed, while the horizontal axis represents time. Next to each task, you will see a horizontal bar which indicates the duration of the tasks. This way, you can check how many tasks are happening simultaneously and how much time is needed to complete the whole project. A Gantt chart has three major elements. The first one is tasks. On the left side of a chart, you will see a list of tasks. Sometimes they are grouped into phases. The second one is timeline. In the chart's horizontal axis, you'll find a timeline. The third one is bars. Connected to each task, you will see a horizontal bar representing the duration of the task. These bars will run parallel to the timeline. And two other elements that can be found in various software tools for creating a Gantt chart are milestones and resources. Traditionally, tasks are grouped into phases, and milestones serve to represent the end of a phase. But you can also create a milestone to indicate an important task or a deliverable. Milestones are marked using diamonds. There are various resources that can be assigned to your task, for example, people, tools, or other resources associated with your task. A few words about the history of a Gantt chart. This type of chart was invented by Henry Gantt, a management consultant and engineer, in 1910. He designed a chart to help manufacturing managers easily visualize their work schedule. In more than 100 years, Gantt charts are still proven to be useful for planning and scheduling projects. Managers of all ranks have a Gantt chart under their belts as an effective and easy-to-use planning tool. With a Gantt chart, you can monitor the start and the end date of a project, the project tasks, the team members involved in working on each task, the duration of each task, links and dependencies. I will present three reasons how you and your team will benefit from using a Gantt chart. After that, you won't even doubt the need of a Gantt chart for your project. Firstly, Gantt charts are known to provide clear communication as they help visualize project tasks, key dates and deadlines. At all times, your team members can have the same information about the project like what tasks are critical or whether you are on the schedule. In a word, you all stay on the same page, which reduces the chances of misunderstanding. Secondly, Gantt charts help you use your resources effectively as you can look at your project's timeline and see when you have too many tasks to complete in a week. Knowing this info, you can avoid the overload ahead of time. This will help your project stay on time and within budget. Thirdly, with Gantt charts, you and your team members can stay updated on whether the project is headed in the right direction. You can monitor your task's completion and the overall progress of your project. For that, you can display a progress bar or color the task you've completed. 
If you find the content useful so far, please give us a thumb up, subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be the first one to find about the new content. Before we jump into a practical case, let's take a look at what software tools you can use to create a Gantt chart. As for task management tools, Asana and Airtable have a Gantt chart view, as well as Trello. But for Trello, you would need to use some third-party add-ons. With project management tools, such as Microsoft Project and Jira, you can create a Gantt chart view as well. Using Excel and Google Spreadsheets is also an efficient way of making a Gantt chart. As you already see, there are a few tools out there that you can use to put a Gantt chart together. Of course, each of those tools has their advantages and disadvantages and requires some basic skills and knowledge. If you use some other tools for a Gantt chart and find them convenient, please let us know in the comments below. Google Sheets is one of our go-tos for building Gantt charts to plan and manage projects here at Railsware. There are a few reasons for that. First, G Sheets are shareable and collaborative. You can easily share a file with your teammates and collaborate on it in real time. Secondly, G Sheets are free. You won't spend a cent for using G Sheets. Thirdly, last but not least, G Sheets are accessible. This tool is easy to use and quick to learn. All you need to have is a browser and a Google account. Moreover, they are fully integrated with other products. Overall, G Sheets is a fast solution for creating a Gantt chart, and it's not rocket science. Now, let's take a look at two most common ways of making a Gantt chart in the G Sheets. The first way is to use a stacked bar chart in Google Sheets. For that, you need to prepare a table with tasks and dates, insert a stacked bar chart, and customize your chart. The advantages of this approach are it would take you a few minutes to create a Gantt chart, and it's a very simple approach. The disadvantages are the following. It's easy to visualize simple timelines, but it can become challenging when the project is complex and there are a lot of tasks it's hard to keep up to date when there are a bunch of team members collaborating on the same spreadsheet, it may get frustrating to keep the chart updated. The second way is a more comprehensive one. We would build this using conditional formatting, which only requires some basic Google Sheets knowledge. This approach to building Gantt chart in G Sheets has the following pros. You can make the Gantt chart adapt every time you change the project start date. With the progress bar, you can monitor the completion of each task. Though it may seem that this type of a Gantt chart does not have cons, there are a few ones I would like to point out. You can't assign milestones to a Gantt chart created in Google Sheets. As a workaround, you can use different colors or group rows that represent different milestones. If you try to use a Gantt chart in Google Sheets for task management as well as resource allocation, you may end up with a lot of data in your spreadsheet. As a result, a lot of data in the spreadsheet may slow down the performance and make the chart look cluttered. If you want to try and build these two versions of a Gantt chart from scratch, please refer to the written step-by-step -step tutorial provided by the Coupler IO team. I'm attaching the link to the tutorial in the video description below. At this link, you will also find a few other templates of a Gantt chart that you can download and use them right away. Now, let's take a look at a real practical example of how you can use a Gantt chart for your next project. So here we have data to practice on. To follow along with me, find the link with the promotional campaign launch template under the video, open the link and make a copy. But first, a few words about the case itself. Let's say you're a marketing manager and you need to prepare a promotional campaign for the new product features launch. You have a team of five people under your supervision. To make sure you coordinate the tasks among your team efficiently and successfully launch your campaign, you need to have a well thought out plan. Since your launch will consist of a few phases, we will be using a multi-phase Gantt chart for that. In this Gantt chart, you can see that the launch of the promotional campaign consists of three stages, plan, prep, and run the campaign. Each of these phases has a number of tasks that should be completed within a given deadline. There are two ways how you can assign each task with a start date. 
In the first one, let's say you can start your next task before the previous task is complete. Let's look at our example. We can't assign roles before we define audience and messaging. To ensure the task dependency, we will use the following formulas in C7 and C8. In C7, we will put E6 plus 1, and in C8, we will put E7 plus 1. Use this approach in other cells if you need to create a dependency. In the second option, if your task's completion does not depend on each other, you can insert the start date of your task manually. You can change the project start date and the timeline will change as well. On your right, you can see a horizontal bar that represents the duration of your tasks on the timeline. Whenever you change a number of days allotted for the completion of each task, the horizontal bar will change, as well as an end date. In the progress column for each task, you can insert the percentage of the work that's already been done to track your progress and check whether you are meeting your deadlines. The gray bar indicates the progress of each task. In the Responsible column, you can add the names of those who are in charge of the task's completion. You can filter tasks based on Responsible to see all allocations of a person. For that, select a range of cells in the Responsible column, go to Filter Views, click Create New Filter View. To see filter options, go to the top of the range and click Filter. Click Clear All and select the name of any person whose allocations you want to see. You can turn the filter off by clicking the close button at the top right corner of the spreadsheet. If you want to add more tasks to the chart, you need to add a new row. For this, you should copy the entire row with needed formulas and paste it. You can do the same for columns. If you need to add more days to your chart, copy a column with needed formulas and paste it. We suggest that you download the template I've just walked you through and play with it to become comfortable and confident with using this tool. Have fun! Let's now quickly sum up what we've just learned. A Gantt chart is a visual representation of all the tasks on the timeline, where the vertical axis represents tasks that need to be completed, and the horizontal axis represents time. A Gantt chart has five elements, such as tasks, timeline, bars, milestone, and resources. A Gantt chart has been used for more than 100 years. Gantt charts provide clear communication, help use your resources effectively, and make you and your team members stay updated on the progress of the project. You can create a Gantt chart using various tools. Among those are Asana, Airtable, Trello, Microsoft Project, Excel, Google Spreadsheets, and many more. In this tutorial, we've specifically practiced using a Gantt chart in Google Spreadsheets because they are shareable and collaborative, free of charge, and most importantly, accessible. There are two approaches to build a Gantt chart in Google Spreadsheets, a stacked bar chart and conditional formatting. The template we've worked on was built by using conditional formatting. In this video, we've discovered that Gantt Chart is a useful visual tool that helps you coordinate the tasks for any project like a professional. Please share with us what projects you've already used Gantt Charts for and what advantages or disadvantages in using Gantt Charts you've already spotted. By the way, this is the first video of our Project Management 101 series. Stay tuned for more videos and let us know in the comments what other project management tools you would like to learn about. If you found this video useful and informative, please put a thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and turn the notifications on, not to miss a thing. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it's super important so that more people could see our content and boost their knowledge for free. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.